My name is Aegis Wayne. I am originally from Gages, Montserrat. But I used to live in Harris's. But so far I have been relocated to Woodland. The first one was August 25th, 1995. And then we had to be relocated again in December of 95. We went back home in July, in January 1996. And then we come back to the relocated area in uh, April 3rd, 1996. Plymouth, the capital city, has been closed. That is where we have most of our major activities, like the bank, commercial sites, and so the people from the eastern side, that is where the agriculture and most of the food has been produced. And the southern side, people have been relocated to the northern side this time. Mm -hmm. That has caused a lot of problems and disruption in our lives. And you name the few things that really cause you to feel depressed because you have to move from your home. Some of them are your homes that you have. You have all your livelihood in, all your work in, everything that you own in life. You have to just pack it up and move on. My name is Priscilla Daly. I, I was Stratton. And he from, have to run from Stratton in the 17th. Uh -huh. And he came here before the morning, morning. From that we are still here for now. There's nothing that we can do to make a living because all our crops and we can't go back, we have to get make no way. So we have to be just panic here all this from that to up to now. Mm -hmm. And every day we want to go, but we say we can't go. We can't go into this. And we can so we can reap and we can't we can't plant. We can't do nothing at all. Just up to here. Watching and breaking and praying and asking. Yes, and we just give up the only thing the government give us and that's all we can do. And there's nothing that I can pick up to go and to make a market to make a living out of. You used to go to the market every week. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing to go for and nothing we can put in. I have to plant carrots, potatoes, onions, cabbages. Mm -hmm. And all peppers and everything. And we can, there's nothing we can do. We're not up there now because we have to, okay, from okay. place to place. Yes, we, the first vocation, we went north. St. John. The second one, we went there My name is Estella I do farming. And, and I have two children. One more thing I have to send her to say to my sister. I have to send money to for her medical treatment, and then the other one here, and my husband. Right now we do farming and nothing produced out of the ground because of the ash. Uh -huh. And we had a few acres of um, sweet potatoes, cabbages and carrots, and because of the ash, we don't get nothing. And then you don't have nothing to return the farm. Um, and mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, we got vines and we got and we got onions. And you could get back in the area to work on them? You're going to work? Yeah. Okay, so the volcanic fire is just taking a chance. Yeah, because I'm going to And when you're up there sometimes, how do you feel? Feel not feel from the ground up here. Feel not feel anyway? No, me not feel no way. Feel not feel natural. So you still produce the amount of crop that you usually do? No, me can't really see a amount of that still can't in my country. Okay. And you said again you used to produce carrots? 
I'm from Lee. I'm Lena from Lee's. But because of the relocation, I now live in St. Peter. Well, I used to do, I wouldn't say I'm a farmer, although I'm a backyard gardener. Small, small backyard gardener. And I, I'm also a small business person. Do a little small business. Sell, buy and sell, resell things. No, oh, no, not the onions and the white potatoes. The onions and the white potatoes, I have to go buy them. Oh. They come from overseas. But we do, I do grow onions and white potatoes at times. Uh -huh. But because of the, the volcanic situation, we don't get to grow that. The season for the onions is just coming on now. But the white potatoes, I'm not sure I'm going to plant them. No, no, darling. I am Alice Phillips of Cork Hill. I live at Cork Hill. I'm not relocated, but I usually sell in the market. I've got a booth in the market. I usually go to the market to sell, but the market is closed now. We've got to come here to do our little bits. I sell nutmeg. Nutmeg. No, they don't go here. They're from off island. And cinnamon. Yes, they're from Dominica. And we have got cloves. Whole cloves. And I've got arrowroot. So I do. A, I usually do a large selling, but it has gone down now. It's just a little hand to mouth now. No, well, a lot of people has gone off island, and the planters, you know, they can't plant because of the ash. The ash kill out a lot of the stuff, like your lettuce and so on. The ash get down inside of it and just kill it. So. The ash, the volcano has taken a good toll on us. But we are still not crying out, you know. We're still hanging on there. My name is Sherilyn Lewis. How are you, I'm from Lee's Village. We did our um, farming in Gages. And before we have the volcanic activity, we produce good vegetables like carrots, string beans, sweet potatoes, and tomatoes. But since the volcanic activity came on, it has an effect on the vegetation. Sometimes we had big ash fall and it buried the vegetation and the food they don't produce food like before. The ash buried the vegetables at times and even burned the leaves. So it is a great loss. But for the underground food like the sweet potato, we can make a living out of that. But the amount of ash that has to be falling all the time, the, the taste that you get from the vegetables is not as good as people.